Okay, finally, after much waiting. Worldwide 2024 Broly. Celebration info. Give me animations. Give me hype. Give me Broly rap. Here we go. Are we going to need captions for this? Hello, salut, annyeonghaseyo, ni hao, guten tag, hola. Hi to everyone. Yes, All English. I'm Omatsu, main producer of Dragon Ball Hello. Dokkan Battle. Hi everyone, I'm Ken, a member of the Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle staff. Today's video comes with subtitles again, so if you have trouble understanding English, please set a language from the video settings and turn the subtitles on as needed. Gotcha, done. All right, before we get going with the campaign info, we'll explain the missions for this Dokkan Now special. Okay. Omatsu, please go ahead. Sure. During this Dokkan Now special, if we reach 20,000 concurrent viewers for all language combined, all players will get 50 dragon stones. Nice. And a hashtag challenge will be held to celebrate the unification of operation schedule. As we have already announced on the official Dokkan so Battle 60 dragon media, coming in. please post your thoughts on today's video, new characters, and the campaign with hashtag, which will be announced later by Omatsu. And if on JP, it was Broly, Broly, Broly. It should be the same on Global. Reaches 2000, you will receive 10 additional Dragon Stones. This will be until August 27th at 9 a.m. Now, please introduce the hashtag, Omatsu. 9 a.m. PST is 10 a.m. PDT. The hashtag yep. will be Broly, Broly, Broly. Broly. We invite everyone to contribute. Before announcing the new information, we would like to review the theme of the worldwide celebration Hide Showdown campaign, which will start soon. Can you, Umatsu? Okay. The theme of this we know this. celebration theme is Broly Hide from the Showdown movies. campaign will be Broly. As you can see from this slide, you will be able to enjoy the story of Broly, who possesses overwhelming strengths and the super warriors who stood against him through the events based on the movie trilogy of Dragon Ball Z. Thank you. We'll deliver the latest info on the worldwide celebration Heated Showdown campaign starting from the in-game events. Let's start with this event. I it's love this art. Event, Demonic Attack. This looks Legendary so Super good Saiyan and it's Broly. just a story event. You can look back to Broly's movie trilogy with this event. Part one of the campaign lets you further experience Broly's debut movie, Dragon Ball Z, Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan. Sweet. Also, check this. In this event, you can recruit Paragus, Broly's father. Finally, a usable team, Paragus. So Big dubs for Paragus. He can be Dokkan Awakened starting from part one of the campaign. Please note that he cannot be Extreme Z Awakened during this campaign. What? He is a must indeed. If the focus Why is he not is getting easy movie. Paragus is no doubt a popular character. I think many users will be glad to see him. Why would they not easy him Furthermore, during the celebration? Look here. This is the limited attempts event, Suspicious Planet, Save the Shamoyans, that can be attempted only once a day. It is an event featuring the Shamoyans, a foreign species from the movie. 140 you can stones a for lot doing of this. Stones That's awesome. In this event. To be precise, you can get three dragon stones with every clear. Plus, in part two and part three of the campaign, you can get four and five dragon stones respectively for each clear, which means you can get more than 140 dragon stones if you clear it daily. Uh -huh. Make sure you play it every day. You got it. Up next, here comes the limited attempts event. Uncontrollable sign of mystery. Okay, so the new category getting event, EX skills. You can okay. Skill orbs exclusive to the uncontrollable power category, which is newly introduced in this campaign. Very cute. Don't forget to play the event, which can be attempted once every seven days. Many characters, including the new Broly, belong to this new uncontrollable power category. Okay. We will announce more details in the game at a later date 
So don't forget to oh, check it out. Oh, once every seven days, I just realized it Time says. Time to introduce a high difficulty event. Please take a look. Blue zone. It's the challenge event. Tremble with fear. The devil awakens. Ooh. Regarding this event, more stages will be added as the campaign progresses. And you okay. can engage in fierce battles with different forms of Broly from the movie trilogy. A support memory can be obtained by clearing all the stages. Plus, you can get a unique title if you clear certain missions. This event includes high difficulty missions, so give it your best to win the unique title. Moreover, even though Broly featured in this event is super powerful, you can gain an advantage in battle if you meet certain conditions. Yeah, if you summon for the new characters. Omatsu, could you share some hint about the condition of stage one? Okay. This time only, I will reveal something on the condition of stage one. The hint is the character you use when attempting the battle. If you bring certain characters with you, uh -huh. the enemy character will be weakened giving you an advantage in the fight. However, depending on the characters you include on your team, the enemy might become even stronger. Oh, oh so, that's cool. Those who would like to face a stronger enemy will oh, enjoy that's kinda cool. this feature too. Thank you. This hint is very precious. Try to bring various characters and enjoy the result. Watch, if you bring Goku, also, it's easy. If you bring Vegeta, this. you die. <laughs> the challenge event, Supreme Magnificent Battle. New movie, movie hero, Blue Zone. Yep, you knew that was coming. Super class characters from the Dragon Ball Z movies will appear as bosses in this event. We plan the event so that the most effective character is different for each stage. Sweet. The duration of battle changes based on your team formation. So play this event with various characters. Challenge the event as stages are also added as the campaign progresses. That's all for the in-game events. And now. Thank you, Ken. Next, we have the long we go. information on the new characters. Let's see it. Here is the card illustration of the featured character introduced in the previous video. First, we have this character. First Goku and power. Super friends. Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Gohan Yus okay. and Super Saiyan Trunks team. This character can't farm a super attack into sadly. Super Saiyan Goku after activating the standby skill. It's the first time we see his SSR and UR illustrations, as well as his illustration after activating his standby skill. And then we have Universe Devastating Broly. Combat Ooh, we power. can farm his super Broly. attack. Base Broly. And his form after transformation. Oh my god, he looks so good. Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. Let's talk about their animations and abilities. Every Here step looks so animations good. of Fierce Crush of Burning Power. Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Gohan use and Super Saiyan Trunks. All right, team. let's see it. Animation time. Yo, that looks good. Look at how crisp and HD that looks. It's the Kamiyamiha up close. Okay. Nice, nice. It's the 18 key. Ooh, that's new. That's cool. Oh, there was a little CG like depth in there. Give me the power to put this guy down for the count. <laughs> Yo! Okay, that's standby one. Just take it. Do it, do it, do it. Yes! Oh, that's perfect!
Nice! Oh, they even show the end shot! Nice! That was so good! What that was so clean! Thought? We have decreated the cool animations of the movie scenes via the Super Saiyan Trio Space Glory. And those after the activation of the standby skill shot, Goku's counter attack after he received power from his companions that were defeated by Broly. Time to introduce this character's abilities before the activation of the standby skill. Ken, please go ahead. Sure. The explanation will be a bit long, so, but here they are. Their type is super physical. Okay. They can raise all out struggle. All out super struggle, Saiyan, super Saiyans. Power of Wishes power category wishes allies stats by 170 okay. percent. And these ally stats will be raised by an additional 30 percent if they also belong to the movie heroes nice. connected hope category. I like that. Good set of leader skills. Okay. Next up, their super attack, Raging Waltz, can raise attack for one turn, deal colossal damage to the enemy, and lower their attack and defense. Their ultra super attack, triple key wave, can greatly raise attack and defense for three turns, deal mega colossal damage to the enemy, and raise super class allies attack and defense for one turn. Next up is the passive skill. This character's strength lies in the fact that other than supporting allies, the character will belong stronger as the key rises. Firstly, for every three key, their defense is raised by 30% when taking a hit, and when their key is 12 or more, their attack will also be raised. When their key is 18 or more, they will launch two additional attacks, each of which has a high chance of becoming a super attack. When their key reaches 24, their attacks will be effective against all types. Damn. When their key is 24, not only will their defense be raised by 240% when receiving an attack, but all of the previously mentioned effects will apply, so aim for reaching maximum key. I was trying to read also, that while he was talking. in order talking. to have a more stable key gain, the trio has effects that allow them to gain more key when obtaining key spheres, such as receiving an additional two key per physical key sphere obtained and receiving an additional one key per key sphere of another type obtained. Dude. To further team damage increase reduction, the chances team defense? of getting a lot of key spheres, their passive skill can also randomly change key spheres of a type other than physical type into physical key spheres, resulting in an efficient way to accumulate key and utilize the character to the fullest. Moreover, if there is another movie we'll come back and read this later. all-out struggle category ally attacking in the same turn, the trio will not only receive 15% less damage, will also raise all allies' defense by 77% for two turns. This defense support remains active when they are attacking, so if you select this character as leader, as well as the friend character, allies' defense can be raised by 154% with only support if you arrange the trio's attack order wisely and stack the effect twice. In addition, excluding the trios themselves, all allies attack and key will also be raised at all times. Just as we mentioned before, with their ultra super attack, the trio can raise super class allies attack and defense by 30%, showing that they not only have high specs in supporting, but can also pack a big punch, making them a character with both excellent offensive and defensive skills. Yes. We brought you <laughs> overwhelming yes. support utility in order to decreate the scene. I like that they actually read this Where out. The super warriors gather their strengths and fight together. We got more. Next up is his standby skill. Oh yeah, we're not even like close to being the done standby here. Standby skill can be activated when HP is 77% or less or starting Whoa. from the fifth turn. It's from charged the by how many battle. attacks you receive. When the standby skill is activated, the character will stand by for three turns. 
he will gain 3 charge counts with each attack received, gain 2 charge counts per physical key sphere oh, obtained okay. by allies, and gain 1 charge per non-physical key Orbs sphere picked obtained up and by how many allies. attacks received. He can obtain charge counts easily by either obtaining key spheres or receiving attacks. Now, let's introduce the abilities when the standby skill is active. Here we go! During standby mode, although he cannot attack the enemy, his abilities will focus on supporting and defending, same as before activating the standby skill. This time, the standby mode duration is a short 3 turns, but since you can gain charge counts efficiently, you can proceed to the activation of the finish effect fairly quickly. Make sure to make good use of the character's abilities before and after the activation of the standby skill. Finally, here are the finish effects. The finish effect, Punch of Bonds, activated when charge count I just read that myself for every three easters you pick up you get 59 percent 15 percent per count and deal ultimate damage to the enemy the finish effect miraculous punch activated when charge count is 41, 41 or, or more, more raise attack by can 20%, temporarily, temporarily raise attack ultimate. by 20 percent per count and deal super ultimate damage to the enemy so aim for 41 or more charge counts to maximize the damage dealt this character also has a KO animation, so do check it out. We've spent quite some time, but that's all for the introduction on Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Gohan use and Super Saiyan Trunks team. Next comes Broly's introduction. Coming first. Okay, is here we go. Vinicius animation time. Combat power. Broly's entrance animation. This is what we've been waiting for. Please take a look. <gasps> We got Paragus in there too. <laughs> no! Oh, that's his intro? How was it? Although we only played one animation, this character has a lot of features. We will start with Broly in his usual state. Let's introduce Universe Devastating Combat Power Broly's abilities. Here, his type is Extreme Technic. He is a category leader with a leader skill that Aww, can raise movie he bosses category allies stats Dang. by 200%. That's still good. 200% movie Usually, boss? Let's go. We'll introduce the super attack next. Hey, why wouldn't he lead but since this Broly has a distinctive power, passive skill, we'll start from that. Here it is. This Broly cannot attack before he transforms. However, uh, what? an entrance animation Wait. will be activated upon his entry, and he can raise the stats of extreme class allies for one turn. Reduce damage received by 90% as the first attacker, support features 70% based on his attack order, such as damage attacker. reduction and raising extreme class allies' chance of performing okay, a so critical hit. Okay, so he's invincible basically on the first turn. As a tank when being the first attacker in a turn. Okay, so he's unkillable, okay. Of course, he is also well equipped in attacking, so let's introduce his active skill. Yeah, let's, let's check this out. This character can transform- Next attacking turn. That's Super actually pretty Broly cool. With this active skill in his attacking turn. Okay. The transform Broly is equipped- So you're invincible for one measures. turn, <laughs> then you he transform. He's a flexible character who can okay. prepare for future attacks by not transforming or Dude, that's crazy. Immediately to attack depending on the situation. Also, this solves the identical name problem, allowing you to build a Broly team. Shout with out, other Broly yep. Characters as their link skills will activate as. I like that he pointed that out. Here are the animations from transformation to super attack. All right, let's check it. Let's check it. Where's the Broly screen? Oh, I need the Broly screen. Hey, there it is. I choose you to be the first 
of my victims. Kakarot, how much do you love your son? Hey, that's the shot from the trailer. Where do you think you're going? I'm preparing the rocket so he can escape the explosion. In a rocket built for one person. That's pretty good. That actually sounded pretty good. Oh, this is the AOE, this is the AOE! Blaster Meteor. <laughs> that Goku's dead. The way the attack is smacking the characters is really funny. Oh, KO shot. We focused on recreating famous scene from the movie in a high quality. Let us move on to his abilities after he transforms into legendary Super Saiyan Broly. His super attack, Meteor Crush, can raise attack and defense for one turn and deal colossal damage to the enemy. Isn't this exactly what the STR his Broly does? His ultra super attack, Blaster Meteor, can greatly raise attack and deal mega colossal damage to all enemies. Next up, we oh, have Oh, he stacks attack attacks. permanently. He has... 50% damage reduction at all times, and the damage reduction rate will increase by Ooh, another 86 or 76% damage reduction from his every entry turn. His abilities change depending on his attack order. When he is the first attacker, his defense he is gets more crit with each attack performed before he attacks, and he can guard all attacks. If he is the second or third attacker. He can launch an additional he super guards attack. attacks plus 50 percent damage reduction or higher in slot one and chance of performing a critical hit is are raised super. with each attack performed if he receives an attack he is guaranteed to launch an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack within the same turn uh plus Moreover, crit 50 percent against pure saiyans or earthbred fighters can activate interruptions when you launch enough attacks that's a guaranteed crit disable the attacked enemy's action once within the turn on every because turn. passive abilities are additive you add them up by launching an all target super attack he can interrupt disables attack enemy action once, once within the turn when key is 24. Yo, with what his the? high defensive capability right from the start of battle he can act as a tank and wait for other allies to strengthen up after the allies are strengthened, he can act as an attacker with the attack raised by ultra super attacks. Thus, he sure is a fun character to play with. Oh until my the god, very end. he's unkillable and then he's Here unstoppable. That's the Broly we've been waiting for. His active skill, Saiyan Killer Instinct, provides key plus three and attack and defense plus 26% at all times. Oh, just a battle, permanent buff. Boosting his base stats. After the character's entry, this skill can be activated starting from his next attacking turn without requirements. So we recommend using this active skill as oh soon my as possible God. and use his high stats to the fullest. What the Thank heck? It has been quite long, but that's all for the ability showcase. Feel their strengths first hand by summoning them in the Dokkan Festival and the legendary Summon Carnival. Four players who unfortunately didn't get who they wanted. Despite performing a lot of summons, yes. we are considering new summon features. Uh -huh. Ken, please walk us through okay. the details. Are they going to make okay. up for all the banners we've been getting for recently? This time's Dokkan Festival and legendary summon carnival you can obtain dokkan festival Whoa! coins worldwide celebration and carnival you coins can exchange 500 coins for the new respected. featured character you can exchange what? 500 coins for a new character who debuted in this campaign this time what? within the event period you will be able to exchange it's dokkan not festival limited coin, worldwide celebration for carnival coin worldwide celebration and vice versa 
For example, if you collect 500 coins regardless of Dokkan Festival coin worldwide celebration what? or Carnival coin worldwide celebration in total, you will be able to use them all as either coin type and exchange them <sighs> for a new character exclusive to either summon oh event. Oh my god! The four characters featured in the summon events from part one and part two can all be recruited with coins once only. However, please note that any worldwide celebration coins left will be converted to the usual Dokkan Festival coin and Carnival coin after the event period ends. Oh, I see. Please They're refer to okay. in-game announcement schedule to be released at a it's later date for more detail. It's a new coin. That's what it is. How is it? Okay. That's, that's still good though. And will the better character who can be extreme Z awakened in part one of the campaign. Oh my god, we're not even done. Here we go. <laughs> Jeez. It's hey, it's legendary Super, Super Saiyan Broly. Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. We will announce his abilities. It's happening. In our social media accounts at a later date. Last announcement is this. To celebrate the unification of huh? operation schedules, we are planning to release limited time social media campaign of Defeat Broly in 10 seconds. Tap action game and official Dokkan Battle X account on August 28th. What is that? Like a button mashing game? This is a game in which players tap to accumulate key to defeat Broly. Dragon Stones are scheduled to be distributed in connection with this campaign. So everyone all around the world, please be encouraged to cooperate and defeat Broly. We will announce more info on That's gotta be a button mash social thing. media accounts at a later date. What are your thoughts? That's all for today's new info. Dude, that's enough. Oh my God. Also, starting from this worldwide campaign, we are unifying the operation schedules with the Japanese version. Yay, finally. The schedules of new characters release and event durations will be unified so you can hype up for the events and characters at the same time. We can only achieve this thanks to so many players. Enjoy Damn our right. game. Darn Thank tootin'. you very much. We will continue to try out various improvements for our users all around the globe to enjoy. Thank you for your continued support. So we hope you will enjoy the worldwide celebration hit it showdown campaign with everyone around the world the dokkan festival where you can summon super saiyan goku hey look at that super Turles saiyan is Gohan on the banner Yus and super saiyan trunks team and the legendary summon carnival where today you can summon broly will start from august 27th so please wait a little more and it's gonna be later on tonight video. okay thank you for sticking around till the end See you. See you. Broly wrap. Wrap it up with the Broly wrap. Let's see it. Broly wrap. Broly wrap. No. Dude. Dude. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We got to go back and we got to start with this with this pity coin craziness. Okay. 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 What is going on here? Okay. We're going to go ahead and read this. You can exchange 500 coins for a new featured character. During the event period, Dokkan Festival Coin Worldwide Celebration can be exchanged or Carnival Coin Worldwide Celebration and vice versa. The Worldwide Celebration coins obtained from the summons in part one can also be obtained from summons in part two and be exchanged for characters and items. So this is going to be its own unique coin temporarily for the celebration. And then you can exchange between the banners. But that's still crazy because you are going to get a pity on these characters, essentially. And there's no limit to it. The number of exchanges you can make is not limited. Use the coins to recruit. Oh, wait. Use the coins to recruit the character or exchange them for Dokkan Festival coins. It's the exchanges that are not limited. I'm a Dragon Ball fan. Use the collected coins to recruit for Marvel characters. Is there a limit on how much you can do? I guess we'll find out. So I think it's probably just going to be the one. So that, yeah. So I, uh, I Dragon Ball fanned right there. My bad. But still, that's still more than what we were expecting. They said in the video, one. Okay. 
they said they said one in the video okay so that first of all is huge next let's go back and read what these characters can do i'm gonna go ahead and read these i will be doing a breakdown video following this one this is part of the reaction but i want to keep this in the reaction video so this leader skill all out struggle super saiyan's power of wishes key plus three 170 percent extra stats plus 32 movie heroes connected hope pa uh, super attack raises attack for one turn causes colossal lowers attack and defense greatly raises attack and defense for three turns causes mega colossal damage to the enemy and raises super class allies attack and defense by 30 percent for one turn for the passive key plus three attack and defense plus 200 percent randomly changes key spheres of a certain type physical excluded into physical plus an additional key plus two per physical key sphere obtained plus an additional key plus one per type key sphere obtained all allies key plus three attack plus 50 percent self excluded reduces damage received by 30 percent temporarily when receiving a super attack oh that's cool okay well i mean we would have wanted it more but it's only for supers okay uh plus an additional defense plus 30 percent when receiving an attack for for every three key plus an additional defense plus 30 percent when receiving attack for every three key oh i see okay that's kind of similar to the super saiyan trio where when you pick up every three key series you get an additional attack or something so this is like the defensive version of that plus an additional attack plus 150 percent when key is 12 or more launches two additional attacks each of which has a high chance of becoming a super when key is 18 or more attacks effective against all types wait no when when hold on launches two additional attacks when key is 18 or more but each of them has a high chance of becoming a super attacks become effective against all types when key is 24. if there is a movie heroes all out struggle category ally attacking in the same turn plus an additional damage reduction of 15 percent and for two turns all allies defense plus 70 sim damn okay standby stands by for three turns during which charge count increases by three with each attack received raises by two per physical key sphere obtained by allies and raises by one per non-physical key sphere by allies can be active when hp is 77 percent or less starting from the fifth turn from the start of battle standby unable to attack except when the finish effect is activated key plus three attack and defense plus 259 guards all attacks changes int key spheres to physical plus an additional key plus two per physical plus an additional key plus one per non-physical plus an additional defense plus 30 percent when receiving an attack for every three key and if key is 24 when receiving an attack reduce damage received by 59 percent ah so that's how that works okay so you're going to be getting more defense not damage reduction damage reduction will be 59 percent but that combined with your crazy defense and with your guard that's pretty good plus an additional defense plus 20 percent per key sphere obtained and all allies defense plus seven percent for two turns per physical key sphere obtained yo plus an additional attack plus 100 percent when finish effect is activated okay so that is the goku real quick uh then this is the oh these are the finishing moves okay so if you get to 40 or less with the charge count raise attack by 15 percent temporarily cause ultimate damage to the enemy and then when you get to 41 or more raise attack by 20 percent cause super ultimate damage and that is the true finisher okay so that is the goku now let's check out the broly so initially i know a lot of people were very <laughs> were very quick to judge this guy unable to attack activates entrance animation upon the character's entry and for one turn from the character's entry turn reduce damage received by 90 percent as the first attacker in a turn reduces damage received by 70 percent and extreme class allies chance to crit plus 50 in slot two or three and extreme class allies key plus two attack and defense plus 60 percent defense plus 200 and guards so he is unkillable he is a tank think of when broly first realized that it was goku he starts walking towards him Vegeta kicks him in the neck and he feels nothing. That's what this is. That's what this is right here. Then this maniac transforms on the next attacking turn. And then he goes crazy. Oh, that animation. This whole animation suite was really nice. Okay. And then for the attack, wait, did I miss the passive? No. Okay. Uh, raises attack and defense for one turn causes colossal uh greatly raises attack and causes mega colossal to all enemies where's his passive here it is so then he turns into this monster key plus three attack and defense plus 260 reduces damage received by 50 percent and 
for three turns from the character's entry turn plus an additional damage reduction of 76 or 26 percent so he'll have 76 percent damage reduction plus an additional attack and defense plus 150 when performing a super attack plus an additional key plus one up to five crit chance plus 10 up to 50 with each attack performed launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack within the same turn after receiving an attack plus an additional defense plus 200 percent before attacking and guards all attacks as the first attacker in a turn launches an additional super attack in slot two or three plus an additional key plus three chance to perform a crit plus 50 percent when there is a pure saiyans or earthbred fighters category enemy meaning there is a guaranteed crit once you max out your crit chance here because this 50 plus this 50 passive abilities are additive so that's a guaranteed critical unit on earthbred fighters or pure saiyans disables enemy action once within the turn when key is 24 are you serious are you serious I need to see this one more time. I got to see this animation one more time. Oh, and he's a movie boss lead. I don't even care about that. He should have been uncontrollable power, but okay, movie boss lead, whatever. Uh, show me the Broly. I want to see the Broly again. Where's the Broly animation? Here it is. I want to see this. I want to see this. It's him, the legendary Super Saiyan. Bye, Gohan. Whee! So he can escape the explosion. I love that Paragus is in this. In a rocket built for one person. That's the key boosting active skill. Oh yeah, I forgot to read that again. He gets a permanent stat buff when he uses his active skill. from a true freak <laughs> i love the golf clap hold on let, let, let's go watch these guys animations again real quick and then we'll, and then we'll stop <laughs> where is it where is it animations there it is i want to see this again these look so crisp too here we go Super Saiyan Gohan. Yes. yeah 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 These have got to be the most crisp, like, animations we've, we've had yet, right? Look at the quality. Look at the line art. Dude, this looks so good. I love this shot. This is cool. Triple key wave. That little 3D effect right there was cool. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Oh, you know what? We don't have Trunks bursting out of his shirt. That's true. <laughs> Broly went flying. <laughs> oh, and then the end shot, dude. Oh, so good. They, they did, they did these animations justice. Look at the Broly and the... I mean, not the Broly. Look at the Piccolo and the Vegeta back there. They did these animations justice. I love that. I love it. I love it.